Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are over at the shop here and we got the 6080 here. It is here. I got it a week or so ago. Been just doing a few things on it. I had it was running around in blue a hydraulic line, so I just put a couple new hydraulic lines on it. But it is finally here. I had to do a little more work on it than what the dealership stated it was needing done. Which, you know, sometimes it is what it is with these old tractors, but I bought it from Mayer Farm Equipment in Jeffersonville, and they claimed that they were driving it around and using it. And well, that was a lie because there was needing work to be done to it. So there's no way that they were using it because as soon as you tapped the brakes, the one tire would lock up because it was stiff and the engine has an internal balancer on it that was completely out of time. So it vibrated like crazy. So I just pulled the oil pan, had to time that and uh other than that so yeah they don't get very good marks in my book for being honest because there's no way they was running this the way it was so but i guess that's my fault for not getting a good shakedown on at the dealership because when i went to look at it the injection pump as soon as you'd fire it up it would rev wide open and then go to an idle then rev wide open go to an idle and they claimed that it just started doing that. So they said, well, we got a new injection pump coming. And they put a new injection pump on it, which they did. You can see a brand new, brand new injection pump. But so anyway, live and learn. Moving on. Like I said, I had it out just quickly moved a couple bales with it and blew the hydraulic line so then i put it back in here so but i also have i don't know some people probably think i have a problem as you've seen in the background while i was walking around if you're paying attention behind me there's this 6080 that the motor is extremely tired it needs rebuilt it blow by, guys blow by like crazy, but I picked her up for a pretty good deal. So I'm just kind of gonna wait and see where this brings me. I'm probably gonna rebuild it. You can see it had a loader on it. There's a mounts, the loader is sitting out there. But the front end's in pretty good shape for having a loader on it. Side panels are not too bad a shape. There's the side panels for it. So, yeah, then the loader for it. There's the loader for it. The bucket, the bucket to this loader is sitting in front of it, but the loader's there behind it. But, anyway, let's get this fired up and we gotta put a bale into the calves on the pad. So we'll get this thing fired up here and go do that. And the hydraulics are just run into the levers right here. Real convenient.
check on these kids here. You guys wanting in the barn? Come on, Cabby Cabbies. Come on. Milton, what do you want? Hi, Milton. Oh, Melton going in for the hay already. Didn't have to tell him twice. Hi, Melton. Oh, well, now we're moved up here to the house. Gonna do some work up here. We got that pile of limbs from the tree cleaned up. I'm taking that tree down and trimming up this one. I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember the last update I've done on the house here. But we have all the painting is done now. I'll take you in here and show you. All the painting's done. This is the living room. We got this accent wall. And here in the kitchen today, we're gonna clean up clean up this and get ready and bring in the cabinets. Start getting them set out, but we gotta get all this cleaned up first. And then we did an accent wall in here too. Turned out pretty good. But that's what we're doing now. Get some of this cleaned up some of the tools we don't need from doing other stuff. So, we'll get set up here and get working on cleaning up, writing everything up. Lady had fun, she got to run. Now well, we got some of the stuff cleaned up here. Got room now we can put our bring our kitchen cabinets in. We just left the workbench here for now. Got this screwed and glued down here where the old chimney was is right here. So we put some glue, put glue down and everything. And just getting some things ratted up in here. So we can get ready to get the cabinets. We want to get that out of here. Probably not today. But anyway, that's what we got going on right now. All right. Here we got the uh, cabinets out of the shed down there. Bringing them over little by little on this trailer. So we're going to start carrying the cabinets in and just kind of get them placed in there wherever
All right, here's all the cabinets. We're gonna kind of just roughly place them just to see what it's gonna look like here. Yeah. We'll see. There's a rough, rough layout. I uh, might have some cabinet switched, but and uh, stove there, dishwasher there, fridge in this corner right here, and then all of our uppers lining it. So because this anyway, that's what what it's gonna look like roughly. So whenever we get finally on the installing them here, hopefully in the next few weeks. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Go back, check out all the other videos on this house, see where it's come from to now. It's been a long process, but we're getting there slowly. Please like, share, leave a comment what you guys think. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.